Hey guys, Ray Moonwolf here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Sword. Last time we beat the Searchester Gym and kind of helped uh, Hop get out of his funk, as well as learn a bit more about the history of Galar, which is nice. Today, we're going to be leaving this snowy little town, which I don't think I ever mentioned it, but I, I kind of like this town. It's very, it's very cozy in a way. I, I don't know how else to put it, but anyway, we're heading out of Searchester today and heading onto Route 9, because we're heading for the next gem. Oh, but first we got a trainer here, and my mind's going to make me have to fight him. Meeting a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. What a concept. Oh, good lord. Fisher Harriet. Oh. Um, okay, this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> I didn't realize that we'd have the same Pokemon. Alright, well, let's see which one's better. Fuck it. Close combat. One and done. Nice. Alright. Alright, Lauren's got the 45. We're moving right along, right along, right along. Lantern. I'm gonna switch. Pokemon. Uh. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Uh. I guess I'll bring out Seath. Alright, thick boy. Oh, fuck off. I forgot this thing learns that. <sighs> Ow. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty, let's... Try well wild charge isn't gonna do much, so let's do a dragon claw. S T A B. Oh mm, of course that's gonna happen. The let's play curse will not let uh, confuse Ray or will not let confusion go through properly. It never will work. At least not on the first time. Thank ya! So, um, I don't think I actually mentioned this, but I had given, uh, Seath to my friend Leo to give it its ability Volt Absorb. Because I didn't like the ability it had, so this actually was a better idea <laughs> to start with. <laughs> Oh hey, Solaire's level 45 and so is Morgan. Misty Terrain. No, keep old move because you, Morgan's learned everything they need. I still need to figure out the last move for, uh, uh, Solaire. Stronger one always wins. How simple. No. Oh. Sorry. Well, we can't do anything over here, so I guess we'll just keep moving on. Okay. Oh, there's a Marini. That thing used to be a bitch to try to find back in Sun and Moon. Uh, let's see. Well, Dancer. My Pokemon are all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? Dancer Zoe. Alright. Darumaka. Oh yeah, the Alolan form. I keep forgetting I have darts out. Oh well, this actually works out. For the most part. Eh, close combat again. Yep, it's now an ice type, so... <laughs> Weird thing about this Pokémon is that its Zen mode makes it an ice fire type, which is so fucking contradictory that it's kind of weird, like when it fully evolves. Oh boy. Blossom. Alright. Uh, Pokemon. Solaire, you pop out. Qu 
Quiver Dance. Ooh. Special attack, special defense, and speed. Yeesh. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a Pyro Ball. And... Boom! Nice. Alright, down you go. Wow, you and your Pokémon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance! Aw, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, well with that, let's keep moving on. We're on Route 9 and... Oh, fuck. What are these numpties up to? There's no way we're letting you go anywhere near Spikemouth, and that means we can't let you go on the Route 9! It's Team Yale's duty to cheer on those... to cheer on these lovely Dreadnaw. And also we get to stop people from heading out over the water! Okay. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that Rotom Bikes can ride on water. Why, we meet again, my young Gym Challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So do you think you could do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? Yeah, that means you <laughs> Ah, uh, sure, why not? Ah, these numpties. That's all I can think of calling them. They're, they're just so weird. Oh, alright. So we got a Linoon. Alright, Psychic Fangs is not going to have an effect. Let's do Liquidation. Ooh! Well then! <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen! God! Oh well. You get you got fucked by the hail. Ah. Well, let's bring out Solaire since these these fellas use uh dark types. Pangoro! Alrighty, let's do a low kick. How is a Pangoro faster than Sole- Man, my speed stat must really be shit. Alright. <sighs> I really want to go back to Spike Myth, I really do. <laughs> Well, yeah, if you keep getting your ass kicked like that. Gah! She's gonna ride the Dreadnought! Well, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought first and ride it away. Alright, get a move on, Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. Uh... What the hell was this whole situation? Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your rotom bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts allowing it to travel along the water surface. Just for you! Alright. Nice. Well alright, with the rotom bike water mode you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the way, when you're riding it on land we call it land mode. Okay. Let me first off, uh, revive darts. I did not expect that to happen. That was kind of funky. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and swap out darts for Seath, because this seems to be a better area for him. And, well, huzzah! We can ride on water. Gimme. Zoom lens. Boost accuracy. Nice. This is an interesting way to get around on water. I'm kind of, I kind of like it. Oy! <laughs> yeah, there's one thing about this area that kind of unnerves me is that Pokemon are all over the place and they just spring up out of nowhere. Max revive, nice. Got Whalmer, uh, Cloptopus, I think. I forget. 
Or Grap Locked, I mean. I think that's what their name is. Oh! Aim for your opponent's weak spots and strike! That's all there is to it! I mean... Yeah, that's one way to do it, Carter. Yeah, here we go. Grap Locked. I like the design of this Pokémon. It's kind of creepy in a way, but kind of cool. I believe it's just a pure fighting type. So... Eh, I guess we'll just do Wild Charge for now. Still haven't learned, uh... The move I want, uh, Seath to learn. To replace that. This may have been a mistake. Uh, Morgan, why don't you pop out? Because Seath's going to be locked into, uh, a Wild Charge because of the Choice Band. Alright. That's fine. Let's do a Dazzling Gleam. Nice! Down you go! And restore some health. To use four moves. That's all it should take. Aww. I heard that a long time ago there was a great detective in Galar who used a martial art called Baritsu. Huh. Oh, I think I know who who they're talking about. Huh, nice reference. Uh, why are swimmers out here in the snow on the beach? I mean, what the fuck? Ah, uh, People are weird. I don't really want to... Fuck it. Let me heal up, Seath. And let me, uh, swap, uh, Lorenz. Uh, swap, uh... Swap darts for Lorenz, because I have a feeling this is going to be a double battle. Or not? It's certainly a beach, but it's just too cold. What do you think about my secret beach? It's a small, mysterious paradise located on a very cool ocean. You've come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. Oh! Well, thank you. I thought you guys were trainers. Alright, dive. Alright. Your Pokemon will be hit by attacks while it's not... Well, yeah, we've actually... Uh, Darts was actually using that for a while. So... Bap! Ah! Manti, go ahead. Cute little thing. Really weird how you have to have a Remoraid in your party in order to evolve this little fella. Uh, wild charge. Might as well just get rid of it really quickly. Ow. Alright, level 44 for Seath. Nice. Uh... I kind of want to explore this area a little bit more. Because I know there's some other stuff around here. First off... <laughs> get away, get away. Ooh, Big Pearl. Ice Stone! Used to evolve certain Pokémon. That was actually introduced in Sun and Moon. Ooh! Missed me! And... There's a swimmer over there, and there's an item right here. Surchester Bay. Protector! Oh, this will evolve, uh, right on into Rhyperior. And then... There's that trainer. Just trying to see... Oh, there's a berry tree, so let me actually see what's up here. Oh, a piece of Never Melt Ice. Boost Ice type moves, which is not bad. Oh, there's a, uh, a camp right here. And a rare candy. Nice, nice. Oh. Witness the results of the training I did together with Pokémon. Alrighty. What you got? Reese. Reese sent out Sock. Alright, see. Let's see if we can do a little better this time. 
Why are there fighting types in the water area? Fucking earthquake. Really? Alright. And the heater went on, fuck. Alright, uh, Pokemon. Let's bring out Morgan again. I mean, she's basically the best for the situation. <laughs> That ain't gonna do much. She's not exactly heavy. <sighs> Alright, let's do another Dazzling Gleam. Ow. Alrighty. Level up, level up, level up. Ow. Oh, you've got a throw as well? Alrighty. Well. Let's do this. You know, I should have used recover, but oh well. Storm throw? That was a critical week. And you got taken just enough damage by the hail to go down. <laughs> Bounce. Let's see. Flying move. Ugh. God, I'm not a fan of that power and accuracy. It's not that great. I'd actually prefer the headbutt. Looks like I still need more training. Ah, fuck it. We'll go here to kind of recover our Pokemon. Big booty. <laughs> well, there's a few interesting Pokemon here. Hi, Lou. Good boy. All right, let's do some cooking. Alright. What kind of curry will we make this time? Uh, I think I'll just use orange berries for now. Since I've got a lot of those. Oh! Using spice mix. Yeah. Oops. Always feels like it's random on whether or not it's going to splash, depending on how you move it. Oh well. Can't be perfect. And I'm never quite sure when you're supposed to put in that little love thing. Seasoned curry. Looks kinda good, actually. Well, looks like Seed likes it. But it looks like it's a milk free class, yep. Alright. Oh, Loren's actually got a level up from that. Nice. Well. I guess we'll just keep exploring and heading south. Nyeh! Stop following me. Oh, TM. Rockside! <laughs> this place is a fucking uh, twisty turvy maze. You never know what you're going to bump into. But I feel like, yeah, I think this is the end of the route coming up. 
so... Normal Jam! Nice. Oh, I think I remember when they made... They made a lot of good gems and stuff back in Gen 5, but, uh... Oh boy. Acrobat with Flying Gem made things kind of broken. Anyway, I'm just going to grab these. I'm not really interested in taking on any more trainers at the moment. That I don't really need to. Okay. Alright, so we got two Ogwav, two Petia, two Wiki, an Ipapa, an Apicot. Oh, two Apicots. Okay, so I guess we're going to be coming to the end of Route 9 here. Let's... Ooh, Max Elixir, nice! Sneaky, yay! Hello, uh, Jellicent. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 5. I love Mr. Pringles. He's very funny. Ooh, a scope lens. Boost critical hit ratio. Not bad. But anyway, over here is Spike Meth. Let me just get these dire hits, and here we go. I can't enter Spike Meth, so I've just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge the Dark type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Huh. Hey, Ray! Even a rundown place like this is important for the people and Pokemon who live here. Wow. Fuck you, cop. What's the gate? Why is the gate being shut? How am I. Okay. Okay. They're all saying the same things. So, Marnie was over here. Yay! No thank you, I don't want to fight ya. But I do see something shiny over here. Gimme. Guard spec. Okay, prevents stat reduction. Not bad, I guess. I was born here, so I know another way in. If you want to get into town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? With pleasure! You've had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival. And all that, but I got too much at stake to go around losing now. Alrighty, fighting Marnie again. Send, send out a Lipard. It's been a while since we had a tussle with you, I believe. The last time was Badoo Drop In. I've powered up a whole lot. I'm going to beat you into, a lot into the ground. Got it? <laughs> She's getting a little pepped up now. Hmm. Let's do a Dragon Claw. Ooh, Sucker Punch. Alright. One more. Ow. I love this battle theme. Mari's battle theme is actually one of my favorites from this game. Ooh, Toxicroak. Ah, can't use Earthquake, so... Let's see... I guess we'll bring out Morgan again. <laughs> She's getting a lot of airtime again. All right, my little cream puff. Oh, nice, you avoided it. Well then, I believe you're... Let's do a Psy Shock. Ay! <laughs> oh, this ain't good. I wasn't... Ex I should have expected this, but I'm a dumbass for not realizing it. Thank God that was a critical. <laughs> Alright, good on you, Mar uh, Marty, for kicking my ass like that.
More Peko! Don't know if I'm going to survive this, but I'll give it a damn try. Nope. You got me with a quick attack. Good on ya. Good on ya. Ah. And now it's in hangry mode. <laughs> ah, let's see. I guess Seath can come back out. I really should have just done the earthquake from the beginning. Oh well. Since this little fella's an electric type, this'll do a nasty bit of damage to them. Down you go! Ooh! Level 45 to Seath. As expected of my rival, you really know how to get me riled up! Sending out a Scrafty, eh? Alrighty. Not bad. Scary face, come on. You can do better than that, Marnie. Although, I guess you're hoping to get the upper hand. But I think thanks to my choice scarf, I got the upper hand. Ow. I really don't want to switch, <laughs> so it's just the battle of bites and quakes. <laughs> oh well. It's over and done with now. Good match, Marnie. Good match. You actually surprised me early on, so good on ya. Of course, that was my own uh, stupidity as well. Hmm. What's with that? My Pokémon didn't get, didn't get a chance to do their thing at all. Ugh! Aw, poor Marnie. My partner Morpeko has been interested in you and your strength, and I think I get it now. But I've got everyone in Spike Miss supporting me. I'm definitely going to get all eight gym badges, just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me. Alrighty, so, heading into Spike Myth. <laughs> Very gloomy place, but I love the atmosphere, to be quite honest. Very punk. <laughs> Welcome to the town, Spike Myth. This rocking town has a punk vibe and streets crammed with shops just lined up cheek by jowl. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we'll be heading in to explore Spike Myth in the next episode. This was a bit of a meandering one, but hope you all enjoyed it. And well, anyway, I'll see you next time. This is Ray Moonwolf signing out. Later, guys, and have a good day.